No, I wouldn't say so. I think it just depends on the girl. I mean, I'm gonna use this as an example. A lot of people go, oh, like, what about the Russian girls? The Russian girls, you know, they always say, like, it's the Russians that, you know, they, they come and they're the ones that are, like, sleeping, the ra sleeping around or whatever. They're the ones that are going out with older men on these dinners and, you know, getting bought Louis Vuitton bags, whatever, and sleeping with them. N not necessarily. That's the thing that doesn't happen. It's not just them. It is yeah. other girls, too. And a lot of these girls, they're not even sleeping around with these men, they're not doing anything. I think it's actually, it's funny because this is my next article that I'm writing on um, a model resource, it's going to be out soon, it's going to be called Compassion. The documentary girl model, for example, how they portray like the poor Russian girl, you know, they made it seem like this horror story. Mm -hmm. And like, I, I, I felt so bad, you know, you got to see like how these young girls are treated in the industry, and yeah. especially in places like cities like Tokyo, where they really like, you know, like the younger girls. But the thing is, a lot of these times, these young girls, I, have, I come from an Eastern European background, I understand, mo all my family is still in Poland besides my immediate. A lot of these girls go to these countries to make money for their family. Yeah. They are not there to like, you know, sleep around or whatever, which sucks because a lot of these Russian girls are being slapped with, you know, the slap label or, you know, the girls that are yeah. sleeping around or whatever. And it's, it's awful to see that and I hate seeing that because I'm like, no, that's not it. Like, these girls are away from home, they're making money for their family. Because if they have that chance, the parents will send them. I had one girl, I was with in Malaysia, her name was Anna. She was lovely and um, I was like telling her, like, what are you doing next? Like, what's your plan? She's like, oh, like, I just want to go home. And she was 15, she saw her braces. She's like, I just want to go home, I can't wait to go home. I just, like, want to see my friends. I'm like, these girls just want to be home. Like, I remember I had one... Canadian girl, and this is what bugs me about people from, like, models from Canada and the States. They are not empathetic toward these girls because they, not everyone, but a lot of them have definitely more privileged upbringings than girls mm -hmm. in Russia or, like, Eastern Europe. And I remember they would, I've had girls say things like, why are these young girls here? They're taking their jobs. They should leave. Like, they get upset. I mean, mm -hmm. I get it. It's like, you know, when jobs are on the line, money's on the line. And I get, you know, everyone gets a little upset about that. But they're like getting mad, like legitimately mad at these girls. I'm like, you do not understand that these girls come from nothing. You do not know what it is like to come from nothing. So these girls, when they get that chance, they're going to go and they're going to make that money. It's not like they don't want to be home or with their friends. Because a lot of the girls will say, like, they should be at school or whatever. Yeah, they should mm -hmm. and they want to. Their parents can't afford a thing. So then they go and then they can make this money. And that's what they do. And then some do fall into bad habits. It's going to happen. But that happens with all cultures. You see Brazilian girls do that. I've seen Canadian American girls do that. I've seen Polish. I've seen Ukrainian. I've seen so many. It's just, it really all comes down at the end of the day to the person, in my opinion.